It's 700k celebration time with a takeaway night. Now, you guys know it wouldn't be complete. It wouldn't be a proper Becky Jones celebration if I didn't have a takeaway. Um, yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you what I've got. Also, guys, if it looks like a lot of food, it doesn't mean I'm going to eat it all tonight. A lot of it can be saved. Um, so first of all, we've got some chips. So let's put some of these on. Wow, we've got a lot in here. I, I've never ordered from... I just want to know what's even the point of celebrating 700K if you're just eating the same stuff you eat on a daily basis already. What, what are you going to do for the 700 and, 701,000 special? You're going to eat the same stuff? Didn't you just eat the same thing like literally a week ago as of making this video? Am I wrong? This girl literally eats like this every single day. It's not a celebration if you're doing this already. It's like eating Thanksgiving dinner every single day of your life. And when, it th when it's Thanksgiving, you eat the same Thanksgiving dinner. It doesn't matter. You're just celebrating it already. It's a, w there's no celebration here. You're just eating to eat. And that's sad, Becky. Like my disappointment, my disappointment is always immeasurable whenever I see Becky Jones. And I, I truly think that she needs some type of intervention. I'm sick of going on Becky Jones's videos and then she'll just be body slamming literally every single day to satisfy her mouth every single day, dude, do a 34, 35 minute workout. And then right after that, be like, yeah, I did just, whew, I did a great cardio session, guys. I mean, I was literally on the floor for half of it because I was just so exhausted. So... I decided to get an Indian takeaway tonight. I mean, guys, I got an Indian takeaway. It's so great. Oh my God. I got an Indian again, guys. 700K. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't care. You didn't do anything. Matter of fact, that workout that you did that you said was great and amazing and beautiful and made you feel good after uh, is completely irrelevant because you just sat there and body slammed 5,000 or 6,000 calories that day. So that that entire workout is irrelevant. And she'll have, she has the audacity to say, but I do it for other reasons. Like I'm not doing it just to lose weight. What's the part, what's the purpose then? Like what do you, what do you, what do you, what, what is actually the goal then if that's the case? Like if you're just gonna eat just to eat and then work out and then eat two times more than what you should be eating. Anyway, dude, uh, I just want to also point out how massive these plates are. I don't know where she gets how these ginormous plates. And it kind of looks like also she was chewing on the side of them over here. If you guys can see that, chew marks right there. I've this chippy before. Um, I don't know how I feel about Biggest fuck. Chips, a lot of french fries on that plate. And yo, you over here talking about some, I don't know how these french fries look. It don't matter. You know you're going to body slam it regardless. Let's just take some. Can't even fucking wait. Can't even fuck a wait to dish out the whole thing, bro. You gotta take a bite of something. Pfft. Becky, it doesn't matter if they don't taste good. You know you're gonna body slam them regardless, dude. You know how hard it is to fuck up french fries? Like, really fucking hard. It's almost, like, impossible to fuck up french fries. It's literally taking potatoes and then deep frying them. It's not that difficult. If you fuck up french fries, that's crazy. But then again... For somebody like Becky, who doesn't even have taste buds anymore, I don't understand what she's even tasting in her mouth right now. And at this point, you're just tasting, like, the plate. Like, you might as well just be licking the plate. You get the same flavor. They're not chippy chips. What the hell is a chippy chip? Somebody please help me. What is a chippy chip? Becky, what is that? It tastes like oven chips. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Why does it matter? Oh, I got some prawn crackers. Can you imagine? Actually, you know what? Can you imagine spending literally $50, $60 on this order? And then you put you put the food in your mouth and it's like, damn, this shit ain't even really that good. To be honest, though, I've seen Becky do that with almost everything that she's ever eaten. With the exception of the Mackey's. Which, I mean, you can't really ever be disappointed by McDonald's. It is what it is. Like, even if it comes sloppy or really, really dry. Like, what are you expecting, dude? It's like McDonald's. It's like the lowest quality food out there. Then we have got some chicken balls. <laughs> Calm down now. Hold up. I'm very disappointed in them chips, on. I love chicken chips. Damn, Becky. Have... Calm down. That's, that's good. Them. Damn. And then I got some barbecue spare ribs because I am obsessed with these. So let's pull. Didn't you say you've never eaten here before, though? What do you mean you're obsessed with these, dude? Bro, somebody's got to let me know, dude. They real deal just be out here giving you guys good-ass Tupperware? Dude, that's a quality piece of Tupperware right there, dude. Yeah, you gotta go on Amazon to buy stuff like that. They're just giving that stuff away. You can just keep that. Do you have to send it back? Dude, that, that Tupperware is pretty good. Damn, man. 
Look like Becky got a little bit of gains going on up here, down here too. I don't. I mean, it's obviously not real gains, but it's gains nonetheless. We're we're gonna take our we're gonna take our dub any way we can get it. Yes, it's not good for her, but you know, regardless. Oh, that fits really well. Right. No meat on that shit. I just never understood spare ribs. Like you 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 eat the you eat around the bone. Why? Like I don't want to. I don't want to have bone in my food. I want to just eat my food. I don't want to eat around something. I don't want to accidentally bite and then like break off a tooth or something like that. And like, it's not like you're gonna be sucking the bone marrow or anything like that. But I guess it really doesn't matter. Becky just eats whatever the fuck she wants. By the way, this plate is massive. She got four chicken balls and she's got half her plate consumed with the fries. And now she's having spear ribs, which is god damn, Becky. God damn! I can't even say this is an anomalistic thing for 700k. It doesn't even matter. The I, I literally saw you eat something exactly the same as this, with with the exception of the spare ribs, literally a week ago. So like, I have no idea why we're counting this as a 700k special. One. One. That's Two. good. That's good. That's good. That's that's it. Three. That's all you need. What are you doing? Have four of them. Four. Becky. Why you need four? You already got four chicken balls over here on the right. Why you need four spare ribs too? That's the sweet and sour sauce for them, isn't God it? damn. I just want to taste it first, though. Why? I'm a bit funny with sauces, especially from chippies. Dude, Becky Jones will be eating the most. Dude, where are your knuckles at, dude? Knuckles are supposed to come up over the skin, right? You're supposed to see the knuckle over right they're supposed to have like an apex for some reason becky's actually go in have you ever seen that before becky's knuckles go inside of her hands because she's accumulating a lot of weight i don't know how some so many people could just be okay with the fact that their hands their arms the rest of their body are so inflated that you can't even identify where your bone structure starts. Like you can't identify where your your wrist is anymore, where your knuckles are, why your fingers are literally two times as big as they actually are. It's got to be some confliction there, right? Like if you start moving your fingers like this, are, are they physically impeded by the you know like the 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 extra girth on the extra fingers? You know what I'm talking about? Because you know you know when they chafe on your legs. Are you getting chafing on your fingers too? Or you just don't move your fingers that much? By the way, this hairstyle is also really, really gross. Oh, it smells very vinegary. I can't even open it. Whoa, Becky, calm down. That word was a little bit close. It's too hot. Oh, that's so... Becky's obsessed, dude. She's obsessed, dude. Look at this fucking shit. Pure big back shit right here, dude. We literally got a plate full of food, all depressing food at that. Neapolitan to the next degree. Becky is incapable of eating anything with green or any other color on it. It's got to be definition of Neapolitan. It's either brown, assortments of brown, some type of white in there, and then maybe like a pink. Maybe. No, it's too vinegary, that one. Um, I got some. You spent five minutes opening up the thing just to not to. Was that rice? Is that rice? Fried rice as well. <gasps> How much carbs you need, dude? Like the, the outside of those chicken balls I'm getting are breaded, right? That's deep fried chicken. And then the fries. And then now you have rice too? Why do you need all of this? It just like, is so much carbs. And this is the real pro- Damn, dude. What is going on over here? Why do you have two separate sets of biceps? I, I, I That's so weird. Like when you see my bicep, right? I got one, and then you don't see a second one. But for her, she got like an extra oomph right there on top. I mean, then again, we're literally talking about a girl that has no neck, so. So like a lot. There's of like literally no room on this plate, so I have no idea where she's gonna put that. I guess she's gonna need a separate plate. Doing me for my dinner. No, she's just gonna put it on well. there. What has everyone else got for tea tonight? Not, not even close yeah. to this, dude. I mean, you're literally eating more food here than half of my ancestors ever. This is like, this This plate, I can't even believe this plate has the capacity to hold this shit. Jesus Christ, man. Just, this plate literally put all its skill points in carry capacity. Let me know in the comments. So I'm gonna have another chicken bowl as well. Oh my god, Becky, another one? Becky, you're good, bro. This shit right here that I'm looking at is literally so much food. This is enough for like two or three people on your plate alone, dude. What do you mean I'm going to get myself an... Is nobody else eating this? Like, or do you just really buy food just for yourself? I don't know if you guys have ever been. Maybe a lot of you guys live by yourself. But if you're living with other people, whether that be your family, whether that be your wife, your husband, your children, whatever, 
You never buy food just for yourself. That's crazy, dude. And I know Becky lives with her parents. I know she does. And Portia, Portia, whatever, which is a terrible name. I'm not going to lie to you, dude. Portia is, uh, I know. I'm not afraid to admit this, dude. I've literally had conversations with girlfriends before. And I've been talking, I was talking to their moms. And they go, what do you think about, what do you think about my daughter's name? And I've literally said it right to their face. Like, yep, that's a bad name. And I know a lot of people can sit there and say, David, your name is bad. I get it. My name is generic. My name is you know, completely in the, in the norm and this and that, but that's safe. That's, you know, dude, what can you even say about me? David, you know, gave it. I don't know. Like there are people out that have tried to push my name into something else. Like, you know, gave it is the gayest or something like that. Maybe, but it's very hard to put my name into like a way to make it, make it bad. Porsche in and of itself. Like, first of all, you named after a car brand. And then also, um, there's like the most best prostitute, Sorry, the most best stripper in GTA 5 is also named Portia. So, I mean, it's just not a good name. Also, I kind of think that that's probably a name more for dogs. I don't know. Regardless, dude, I'm not saying that she's a bad person, Portia, or whatever. It's just like, I don't like names sometimes. People people have, I don't know why so many people name their children terrible, disgusting names. Like, you know, ner ner like I knew a girl that was named Heaven. I knew a girl that was named Kiki. You know, what is that? I don't know what the fuck is that, dude. Kiki? Two syllables, dude? Like, what did you, you, your parents, like, skip a beat when she was saying that shit? Like, what was going on there, dude? It says, because I've never had this shippy before. I don't oh, know. you can't see it. I don't know how it's going to be. <clears throat> oh, it's better now with the dip. No way you're going to pour that shit on there, bro. Chill the fuck back. What even is this sauce? This looks like the Indian guy that made this also ate this food. And he was like, I can't make it to the toilet. That's nice. Oh. So we'll put that on. Oh. We've got all them chips left. Um, By the way, I'm going to keep it a bucket you. There's no way. <sighs> Hear me out on this for a second. I want somebody to think about this critically. If you knew that you weren't going to eat everything on the plate, why would you dish it out on the plate? Am I wrong? If you were thinking about this critically, you would only dish out what you need to eat. And keep in mind, Becky knows how much she eats, okay? She eats every single day, an extreme amount every single day. And she's been conditioning herself to eat way more than she actually needs, given the fact that she's overweight and obese, right? I am, I'm going to have to call extreme capladon on this, given the fact that when she started this, she said, it doesn't mean I'm going to eat all of it then why didn't you leave whatever the fuck was in the, the bags in the bags and just take out what you needed? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why would you take out four ribs? Why would you take out five chicken balls? Why would you dip, dip, dish out half the rice, half of the french fries if you knew you weren't going to eat it all? You know why? She's going to eat it all. She's going to body slam the entire plate without a doubt. That shit is literally finished. We're literally looking at, we're literally looking at RIP right here, dude. RIP to the plate. The plate itself actually might be a little bit compromised given the fact that it has two marks on the left right there. That's a shame because they probably won't get eaten. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, five chicken balls, half the fries, four ribs, and rice. This shit looks gross, but you know what? This is like default for Becky, bro. She even managed to fuck up the, 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 the stove top itself. Which, by the way, I don't know who the fuck is dishing shit out on the stove top. If you're asking me... I've never had a stovetop before that's an electric one. I've only ever been a gas burner personally, but that's only because I lived in apartments where I didn't have a choice. Um, I still probably wouldn't buy electric stoves. I know they look cool, but I just don't really care about that. I'm perfectly fine with having the next generations, I don't know, dude, suffer like an extra 10 degrees on me. Um, you guys will be okay. Trust me on that. 10 degrees is a lot, but you know what, dude? I'm not going to have to deal with that. Uh, also, you have extra stuff on the stove, which I am not a fan of, dude. Get your shit off the fucking stove. You know how many times I've seen people put stuff on the stove and just leave it there and something happened? A lot. Be mature about this, Becky. So here it is. I cannot wait to talk into them, especially. There's a, but... She got like cheese spread over here. Oh, this is, okay, this is Nutella spread or something like that. This is like the chocolate spread she uses for her gourmet chocolate bars dude what a sad fucking life bro this woman literally has the residue of the food that she made before this video still on the place bro that's crazy dude but let's go and try it what a depressing it thing nice. right okay i'm gonna give ooh. oh I'm gonna... my 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 filter wasn't on I give the rice a try first i just want to know like okay so she got 700k good job i appreciate that's the best amazing accomplishment for becky I just want to know, like, why is it so popular for people on TikTok to be eating 
giant denominations of calories and people looking at that. I know there are a lot of people that do hate on her. If you look at the top comments, usually, unless she deletes them, which she does, by the way, she does go through her comment section. She does delete them, which is crazy, by the way. You would have to hire a full-time employee to go through her comment section and delete the ones that are all bad because some of them you don't even know are bad. They, they could be quite ambiguous and you don't know for sure if this is like a bad one or not. But she does go through her comment section and she does delete comments. So I don't know how she's doing that and has time to eat like this, but I guess she has a lot of free time in her day, given the fact that she doesn't have a job. I don't think she has a job at least. And she does spend her entire day eating. And uh, what a life, right? Am I wrong, dude? Think about your great, great grandfather, you know? He was out on the farm, dude. He was planting 15 potatoes for the next harvest, right? Next year from now, there was a blight and the potatoes came out premature and they were covered in black stuff and you had to suck on a horseshoe for sustenance and sell your, your great grandsister for money for rent for that month. And here we got Becky Jones, you know, just uh, sitting down on her couch, body slamming a good 2,000 calories and she's doing that shit daily. Um, I mean, I just sometimes I think we got to put shit in perspective, right? hundred years ago, we were fighting for a women's right to vote. Uh, you know, we were fighting for black people to be recognized in a significant way. And now I, I don't even know. Like we just come up with our own challenges. Like here we are, Becky Jones, 2024, body slamming a takeout uh, for 700K, which she's literally done every single day. So it's like, I don't even know. Like the fact that we got here in this timeline is crazy. But I know a lot of people go, man, our timeline sucks, bro. We don't got superpowers. We can't fly. And I always think, but think about this, okay? Becky Jones could have a great career just eating takeout for her, mil her, her hundreds of thousands of followers on TikTok. I mean, sure, you can't fly, but Becky Jones can eat takeout. So, I mean, think about that. We did something. Mm. The mouth noises are not it, dude. I don't like that. Right, okay, we're gonna try a chicken ball. Damn. And a rib and a- he, She didn't like that. Do you see the way she looked at that shit after the ball hit her mouth, dude? That's just crazy, bro. Apologize if I get it everywhere. Have you- Can somebody let me know something real quick? Have you guys ever seen somebody eat a rib the long way? Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen somebody put a rib in their mouth the long way, vertically, in their mouth? I thought the meat was on the, the rib. It's like eating corn. You know when you eat corn? You eat the, the sides. I, I never in my life saw somebody eat corn the long way, okay? Eating ribs the long way is an abomination. Why are you doing that, Becky? What is the per uh, is this some kind of like sexual innuendo? Are you trying to tell me something right now? Are you trying to like get in that jelly beans moment where you're trying to like, you know, not like completely show people that you're into feeder content but like kind of you know like if you want to watch me eat this rib vertically and you get you just so happen to get an erection from that well i mean i'm not opposed to it i'm not opposed to you looking at me eating this rib with an erection in your hand beating your shit up i'm not opposed to that i don't know if that's what becky wanted to do here but i've never seen somebody eat a rib the long way that wasn't trying to perform erections upon other people Induce erections. And a rib, and I apologize if I get it everywhere. She didn't even get the meat. I don't even know if this is meat right here. Is this meat? What is, isn't this just like the bone? And she just sucked that shit? So you didn't even chew it. You just, uh, she just sucked it up. Just put it in her mouth and heard that. That's gross, Becky. Yeah, come on, Becky. Jesus, you're already doing crazy shit. Why you gotta suck the rib? And a rib. Yeah. Can you imagine that animal? Thinking like, oh, I'm really, you know, even though I died in factory farming and, you know, uh, it was really inhumane and it was terrible, but at least somebody's getting sustenance. And then you look down, you see Becky Jones and you just see her doing this. Rib, and I apologize if I get it everywhere. And you're just going, this is what I died for, huh? I died for Becky Jones to suck on my rib cage. Is this really what I died for? You know, somebody that doesn't even need the sustenance. You know what I'm talking about? Becky is literally probably eating an extra two or 3,000 calories every single day. You thought you were going to feed some hungry Indian child, but in reality, you're just feeding Becky Jones' mouth. And you're not even getting, you're just getting sucked up. You're just getting sucked up, bro. Oh. Mmm. The sauce on them is so sweet. Whatever, dude. Whatever, Becky, bro. I don't... You know what, dude? Like, Becky, you know, we, we need to talk about this shit. We need to fucking talk about this shit, Becky. 
Why the fuck you eating this often, right? How is this a 700k special and you literally did this shit every day? How is that a special at that point? You ever go into a restaurant and they go, the special of the day, every day? No, that takes away from the specialty of it. The, the entire purpose of a special is that it doesn't happen often. And the fact that you're doing this every single day means that it's not a special. You don't... All right, Becky. I'm just saying, dude, Um, I just think that we got different priorities in life. And I kind of think that your priorities are a little bit weird. And I also think that you don't really care about yourself, given the fact that I just saw you suck on a rib. And uh, you know what? I mean, live your best life. But damn, bro, is there nobody in your life that gives a fuck about you in any significant way? Like, does, do none of your family members watch these videos and go, oh, yo, Becky, bro, this is crazy, bro. Did you just do a 700K special and literally eat the same thing you eat every single day? That should tell you something. The fact that this is a special and you couldn't even come up with an actual good idea to do a special with. Instead, you just defaulted on what you usually de eat already. That should be a wake-up call for you. That should be like the, what am I fucking doing with my life? This is not even a special. You literally eat this shit every single fucking day. I'm really good. Uh, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's coming into Becky Jones's video. Like, she should just feed into the whole, like, uh, feeder content at that point, dude. Like, nobody's coming to Becky Jones's video and wondering whether or not the food she's eating is good. I'm never going to eat this food because she actually doesn't never... She never goes over what place she's going to. She just goes, guys, I got an Indian. Thanks, Becky. Wow. You know, this food review is going to be good. Oh, really? And she does nothing. Like, she's not really contributing much at all. Like... There's no special delivery. She doesn't tell you about the consistency of the food. There's no, like, skit in the background where she's sitting there and, like, maybe she's in the back of a U-Haul while eating as fast as she fucking can. There's nothing special about this. It's just a big woman sitting down eating uh, 2,000 calories of Indian food. Uh, okay, whatever, bro. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that is nothing special about this shit. If I was a food reviewer, bro, if I was a food reviewer, dude, I would take the food and I would, like... I would just like decorate my body first, right, dude? I would eat the food in a in a bathtub filled up with like spaghetti sauce or something, and I would dip the food in the spaghetti sauce, and I would eat it like that. And while I was doing it, I would I'd be like screaming like Kali Ma or something like that, dude. I don't know. Things make it special, dude. There's got to be something. You you got you got to stand out. You can't just be big and have that be the standout. Anything that I was really disappointed in was the chips. They're not. What about the chicken ball? You didn't say shit about the chicken ball. You said that shit was mid as fuck with your eyes. Proper chippy chips, if, if you got me. No. Um, still not. Somebody let me know what a chippy chip is. I so. So, like, why does it matter then? Like, what are you like? Oh, yeah, it's not that good, but I'm going to eat that shit anyway, I guess. But I'm probably going to eat, put more of the rice on in a bit. Okay. Like, Becky. So, the chips weren't as the chips weren't as banging as you thought. So you decided that you was going to compensate for that by adding more rice. Keep in mind, she didn't say I'm going to take away the fries. She just said I'm going to add more. Meaning like she's fully intense of eating those chips. But she's going to add more fry more rice on the side. But yeah. This is my 700k celebration tea. Absolutely love it. And like I said, I'm just so grateful for you all. So thank you so, so much. This really, thank you. For one of your, you know, followers such as myself, I don't follow her, but, you know, I, I metaphorically follow you in a way. I appreciate the 700,000 special. Even though I literally see you do this every single day, it's not really a special thing or anything like that. Um, Thanks, Becky. Wow. Um, Thank you so much for letting me watch you slowly but surely, you know, hit the grave. Uh, it's great. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, You're doing well. You're doing great, Becky. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Becky. Thank you. Thank you. Um, happy Wednesday. She dipped the fries into rice. It's takeaway night Saturday. I just want to like point out, right? Remember at the very beginning of the video when she said it's like the 700K special and like it was supposed to be a grandiose mo occasion for her to eat that takeaway? I just wanted to point this out that this is like a few days later after that and it's probably more food here than it was on the other place. So like, I don't know, dude, like, like I said, it doesn't matter. She eats whatever she wants, whenever she wants. There's no consistency. There's no consistency to her words, but rest, rest assured, there's always consistency to her mouth. So tonight we've gone for the good old kebabs. Um, Porsche's here, Paige isn't here yet. She is busy so Porsche's here and um, back from the holidays so we've got Dang. oh this one's not mine 
that looks gross. And anytime Becky says this one's not mine, I'm always questioning it. Because whenever she eats, I only ever see her eat. Now, granted, maybe the people in her family just don't want to be seen on camera. But she tends to eat a lot of whatever she orders. Which gives me the impression that she never really intended for anybody to be eating anything at all. She just was going to eat it herself. There's a doner kebab there. Gross. Wet newspaper. Then we've got... Oops. Some chips course uh number one delicacy over there in the uk as much as people here in america eat french fries right a lot of people will say what's the number one thing that people in america eat it'd be burger and fries i'm gonna call really cap on that dude i don't know if i've ever seen another country before besides the uk that has eaten as much french fries as people in this country it's insane like every meal you guys have have to have french fries in it and i just don't understand is that a part of your culture or something like that and why are they gotta be so goddamn thick all the time I saw it not just from this woman, but from Corey's World. There's a whole bunch of other UK creators on TikTok that love the fries and they eat them with like literally every single meal. And I understand it to a certain degree. Like French fries are good. I do love French fries, but I'm not eating them in every single meal, bro, because they're not that kind of food. There are other things that you guys can eat. You guys never heard of rice before? Like you never heard of that? What about like some pasta on the side or whatever? I don't fucking know. Like you guys can mix it up. You don't have to eat french fries with every single meal you guys know that right it's not always gonna have to be that i think they might be bullshit i don't know what everyone so in here the mfc i've never heard of the mfc motherfucking chicken <laughs> porsche's got some chicken chicken tenders everything's just brown like different shades of chicken brown strips and chips in there so i, don't know I just you... never understood the people that buy chicken strips or french fries in a box like this when you could just go to the grocery store and just buy them yourself because they're cheaper there and they're basically the same shit i don't care what anybody says i don't care like what are chicken strips like just deep fried chicken tenders right they're just deep fried so most places are not fucking up deep fried shit it's very hard to fuck up anything that's already deep fried so i don't really care about it if you're gonna buy this stuff i would recommend Going to the grocery store and buying it already made and then just putting in the air fryer for 20 minutes. Just then. Oh, they might be my chips, actually. Um, so there's that one. I want, uh, dude, how much does this order, you guys think? It's got to be in the 80s, right? 80 bucks, maybe? 50 to 80 bucks? Then we've got... Why should you look at it like that? more french fries of course you know never enough french fries you always got to get us just have a potato farm outside your house dude at this point like the amount of french fries these people consume you, you might as well invest in like a good potato farm though just have them growing consistently outside your house chips and then in here damn this bro this order nice. was big i feel like they've changed their packaging as well Little the carton what is everybody else got? I love a Saturday night takeaway. Oh, yes. Dude, you love a takeaway every single night. What are you talking... I don't know why she has to say this shit. As if she doesn't eat literally all day throughout the day. And every single meal is almost always takeaway. If it's not takeaway, it's usually some weird concoction that she put together in her fucking kitchen. That was made from the air fryer. Almost always in the air fryer. So... I don't know why she says I love a Saturday takeaway. You love a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday takeaway, Becky. Don't lie to me, dude. You eat this shit all day or a day. Stop acting like this shit is only like, oh, you're on Saturday. Only on the weekends. Nah, dude. It's every fucking day for you. So I'm actually going to take it out of the car and today. Dude, she's, I'm, I'm sick of seeing these, these ginormous plates she has, dude. I really wonder where she gets them because these these portion sizes that she dishes out, I feel like that's one of the biggest problems is that if you think that the food should be that size or like the plate you should fill, you should be able to fill out the plate, you're going to put a lot of food on that plate because there's so much room to fill. And for somebody like Becky, obviously she is eating way more than what she should be. Obviously she's maintaining like a good, I don't know how much do you think Becky weighs? I don't know, dude. Like three something, three some change, something like that, dude. It is what it is, uh, but she is definitely eating way more than she actually should be eating. And she's doing it on a daily basis. That's why she's able to maintain the weight that she is. And it's really crazy, too, because she's actively working out while she does it. Put that there. Put my... A lot of french fries, dude. I don't know why you guys love french fries so much, but there's so many french fries in your guys' diet. Chips on here. There we go. 
I'm just going to check as well that Portia likes the chicken strips. If not, she's got three pieces of other bread. So if Portia, okay, let me hold on. Let me just like really quickly. So if Portia doesn't like it, what happens to the chicken strips then? Like, do they just get thrown away or what happens to those chicken strips? I would love to know what happens to those chicken strips, Becky. Hmm? If she doesn't happen to like, by the way, who's not going to like chicken tenders and fries? That's like the most default food you can ever make. If somebody doesn't like that, please let me know down below. And why the fuck would you order it then? If you weren't going to eat it, what is the purpose? Why would you ever order that if that wasn't something that you were going to put in your mouth? So that leads me to believe that the chicken strips were actually just Becky's and that she's coping and she's trying to make it seem like everybody here ordered something and they didn't actually order anything. I don't even know if Porsche is actually here. It could literally just be no one and she's just going to eat them anyway. So, you know, like it is what it is. That's what Becky is doing. So, And obviously we got, we got as well a garlic bread. <laughs> and then this god damn is three good. pieces just for yourself there's eight pieces all in total i believe on on the garlic bread so that means that she took literally a, a third of it garlic bread, look, some garlic. just for herself by the way and she already has like two giant like you already got the carbs i don't know why you need even more carbs as well and that is my takeaway it's a lot dude it's a lot of fucking food dude plus the uh the chicken tenders and fries too i've got some drinks and stuff of course um, soda the max that is everything that's going to in put some peronies on the side as well for my chips god mm. damn we're watching harry potter no aren't chewing we? dude We've got garlic bread absolutely I no chewing probably dobby dobby snape harry or i love snape Every, everybody loves Snape, dude. That's like the most basic bitch tag, dude. It takes a lot of balls to say you like, I don't know, let me think of some character that I think a lot of people don't like. Hagrid? Do people like Hagrid? But nobody really talks about him. Good. Oh, yeah, Ginny's. Ginny and who? I love Dobby. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, what? Could she not fit it in her mouth? Why did she struggle so hard to put that in her mouth? You see the way, like... There was, like, a border around her mouth, and I guess it, like, hit the barrier point. Like, I, I don't know why she struggled so hard with that. Dude, that filter is working OD here, bro. Oh, no. Dude, why? Like, she struggled so hard to put it in her mouth. I don't think her mouth is that big, and, and that's, like, a problem for her. Because if she wants to consume a lot of food, she can only do it in little bites. Which is probably not something she wants to do, because she wants to eat as much as possible. Which, uh, is not good. Damn. Mm. Well, the kebab houses is closed in Ellesmeyport because they go away in the summer. But this one, one of my favorites, hasn't closed. <laughs> um, but yeah, the chicken kebab's amazing. She put it in vertically. Mm. Good technique. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would think so. Dude, you don't have to lick your fingers, bro. You got more than enough on the plate, dude. The plate itself is like three times bigger than it should be. And you're sitting here licking your fingers, dude. You don't need to be doing this. <laughs> God damn. Love you all. Uh, love Hi you everyone, too. everyone, and welcome to my What I Eat in a Day. So for breakfast, I made myself Brina, which was two sausage patties and an egg. Damn. On some toast, and I had some ketchup with it, of course. Then for tea, I had... I just don't like the way she eats. Like, I, I don't like the way she, like, closes her eyes to eat. I don't know why she got to squint so goddamn hard. It's not... It's, all you're eating is eggs and sausages. Chicken kebab with some chips and garlic bread. And let me tell you, this garlic bread was the tastiest it's ever been from here. Couldn't fit it in it her was mouth. honestly so tasty. Oh, and I can't explain it. It was just the garlic and everything was just right on it. Then a little bit later on, I had a games night with Paige and Portia. We played Clue. Keep in mind, this is the same day. Like we just saw that video of her dishing out that food. This is that same video. So of course that meant we had to do our snackle box. This is- <laughs> Hi, right, Becky. I don't know, man. I don't know why it's this easy for you to be body slamming this much food, dude. You just had that giant takeaway, and you probably ate Porsche's food too. And now you're sitting here with all this candy. Yeah, like, is it possible for is it is it possible for Becky to eat anything that's not like a fruit that's coated in chocolate? Why is it never possible for her, dude? She has to coat everything in, in some type of candy. It's basically just a box. It does have a lid on it, but we put all different sweets. Yeah, in. you probably body slammed that. Damn. Nah. Damn. We also had some strawberries, grapes, some crisps. 
and the kids absolutely love doing this. Oh, what about you though? Huh? What about you? Forget about the kids. Let's talk about your mouth. So good when we're playing yeah, games. You can never do strawberries without chocolate, apparently, dude. I don't know. I don't really like strawberries in general. Uh, I guess this would make it a little bit more tolerable, but uh, simultaneously, you probably shouldn't be eating chocolate on this shit to begin with. Unless you're already good in health. And I just went and chilled, and I just love my ice cubes in my flask. Keeps it nice and cold all night for me. But I hope you all had a great day, and I love you all. Love you too, Becky. Becky Jones, she's on the go. <laughs> Sorry, I can't Ooh. get that out of my head. Damn. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my one in a day. So I was actually on the go this morning, so I had one of these five. I wonder where she was going, though. Becky really doesn't do shit throughout the day. She just kind of sits there, and whenever she does drive... She doesn't like, she just drives from like fast food place to fast food place. So I wonder what she was doing today. Uh, bar donuts, I think it was. Then I went to Asda and I got some- I just don't understand why she doesn't pack lunches or like make something for the road or something like that. Like if you know you're about to do something the next day, wouldn't it be essential to make food before you guys get up and go? Instead of like spending high denominations of money and then also uh, buying fast food throughout the day. Like, I get it if you're not from the state or whatever. Like, if you're not from that no that local place and this is your first time ever being there, I get it, dude. You're away from home. You can't cook. But given the fact that you came from home, why didn't you cook? Why didn't there... Why wasn't, why wasn't there, like, a... Oh, well, let me get some of those, like, Indian takeaway containers and let me fill that up with the food or, like, a sandwich and some chips and then have that instead of, like, going out of your way and buying fast food all day. Actually, Chris, to eat in the car... Why does she do that, dude? Why does she always, like, close your eyes like that when she eats? I don't know what is going on with my face there. Yeah, what the fuck? And for tea, I made... Dude, do you think she has cavities or something? Like, when she chews, like... You think that's what it is? Like, she has mouth pains? Chili meatballs, some Greek salad, savory rice, and I had a flatbread with that. And it was honestly so delicious. What a, what a wild life. Now. Then a little bit later... Dry-ass fucking meatballs, dude. And I had a yogurt... I love these yogurts. It's like yogurt. um, a flake one, but not a flake. You know what I mean? It's from Aldi. That, that's a yogurt? Oh, oh can I see like, that again? Um, a flake one, but... These are, that's a yogurt? I've never seen a yogurt like that, bro. Never seen that shit, bro. That, that don't look like, no. that don't look like any yogurt I've ever seen. Not a flake, you know what I mean? It's from Aldi. I also was in the middle of I think her mouth is really small, actually. I think that's the problem with her is, like, she she wants a bigger mouth or I'm something. I'm ready to go to the cinema. Yo. Got the toffee crisp as well. Then I went to the cinema, and I got a Tango Ice Blast. This Damn. This is a cool one. I've never had Damn. it. Damn. so good. Also got a tub of M&Ms as well. I can't believe how tasty the Ice Blast was. Tasty, you know what I mean? The flavor was just so nice. Damn. And I nearly finished all my M&Ms before the film started. But that, I mean, that makes sense, Becky. That makes sense. Girl, never take her time eating anything, bro. She's going to body slam everything first and foremost before anything starts, dude. And I know that's like a meme where people eat the food really, really quick before the movie even starts or like the first 10 minutes or whatever. I guess that's better than eating the, eating the food before the movie even starts. But regardless, guys. We're going to end the video here. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, I appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watched the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in M&M's because M&M's seem to be Becky's favorite food of this video. She's eaten like, what, twice or three times this video? I don't know. Regardless, leave it down below, M and M. And then I will appreciate how much of a beautiful, delectable individual you are. And you are a beautiful, delectable, awesome individual. I care for you. I think you're an amazing person. Thank you for spending time with me today. I really appreciate you being here. I really do. Thank you so much for spending time. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.